Bills. Be very IQ. Greetings and welcome to the show, Balance. Get some in your life. What's happening, Blog Family? It's your host, Freddie Taylor. I'm here, fired up, sweating, uh, sticky shirt on, a lot of perspiration, a lot of fatigue in the face, maybe. But I've been working out. I just see him drinking my water, just seeing for him a three mile run, getting my health in. As you know, if you've been following me on Facebook or here around the blog, I've been talking health is wealth, get some in your life. I run an X amount of miles. Well, it's not just talk. It's not just a lot of hot air. I don't blow a lot of hot air. If I'm talking about something, I'm trying to get it in myself. So, just wanted to give you a little real life for you. This is what nice little hard work gets into your life. But I only ran three miles today. I'm toning it down. I'm in the final week of my marathon pre preparation, my half marathon preparation, which is Sunday. Today is uh, September, Wednesday, September 9th. Uh, Sunday, September 13th is my actual half marathon, 13.1 miles. I, when I started on this quest to run this half marathon about nine weeks ago, I didn't even, I couldn't even imagine myself making it across the finish line. But step by step, day by day, I've been working out, uh, training really hard, dedicated myself. You know, it rains, it gets cold, it's too hot. I got too much going on, it's too busy of a day, I don't feel like it, my feet hurt, oh I'm so sore. None of those excuses was able to hold me back from my training and my preparation. You can't allow things like that to hold you back either. I stayed on pace, stayed on course, downloaded a little training program. Here you can see all the X's, it's a 12 week program, but like I said, I missed the first few weeks. I started about nine weeks out, uh, but I just mocked off one more box, three miles today, I got two miles tomorrow two days of rest and then we get the 13.1 in. Now just to let you know, there's no way when I started this that I was thought I could be able to run 13.1 miles. The furthest I had ever ran in my life, which was a couple of years ago, was two, it was, excuse me, eight miles and I thought I was gonna die after that process. Uh, my neighbor, he can attest to that, he, he used to run with me about 10, 11 weeks ago and we run two miles and man, my heart beat bumping, feeling like it's gonna jump out my chest you know, and he says, man, I can't believe that you're out running eight, nine, ten miles. And now, you know, I think a six-mile run is like a jog in the park. Like, that's a nice little warm-up. But it's because I've been following my regimen. I dedicated myself. I set a goal. And I got out at, after it each and every day. I didn't let anything stop me. No matter if the kids are nagging for me to do something. The wife got a big, long honey-do list for me to knock out. Work is keeping me up late at night. Uh... I want to go hang out with my friends. There's a million and one excuses, probably more than that, that you could come up with that can hold you back from attaining your goals. But you have to stay dedicated and focused in order to make that happen, to make those things, those dreams come true. This half marathon is the half of my first goal. My half is a half. It's, it, it is a goal, but it's half of my larger goal, which is to run the Chicago Marathon of 26.2 miles. I didn't think I'd be ready for this by October, so I figured I'd run a half now, and next year I train and prepare to run the Chicago Marathon next year, and I'm going to do it. I even have a buddy that says he's going to fly out from London and run the 2010 Chicago Marathon with me. So, Neil, if you're listening, I'm looking forward to that, and looking forward to meeting you, one, and two, running the half marathon and knocking out another goal that we have together. That's going to be great. But I just wanted to bring up this video to encourage you to stay at it. Stay with it. Get your health on. Get your healthy in, as they say. Let's get it, Facebook. Let's get it, blog family. You can't hold back. We're not all. We're all not getting any younger. This is one thing that I can say to anyone out here. If you're 21, let me tell you, I used to be 21, and yes, I thought I would never get tired. I thought I would never get old. I would never get fatigued. Let me tell you, in 10 years, you're going to be 31, and 10 years after that, you're going to be 41. I'm 30. I'm 33 years old right now, not getting any younger, but my body feels a whole lot better than I did four, five, six years ago even. Lost a lot of weight, don't know if you can tell, getting ready for my next goal. So I'm one of these people who like to set goals, but as I start nearing that finish line, you know, the completion, maybe most people get happy, but I'm always starting to eyeball my next goal. I'm starting to eyeball my next challenge, and I got it in mind already. Mr. Chase Harris, BeTheChallenge.com. I'm coming to see about that P90X. I want to get my beach body on. Let's see about it. But it's your host, Freddie Taylor here at FreddieTaylor.com. Remind you to get it in. Health is wealth. Don't be afraid of it. Get some in your life. But also, all things happen first in the mind, then in reality. Let's get some water and go get it.
follow Pantora. 